Alrighty then. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bone Zone. Alright, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, the... Uh The Nano Big Muff Pie uh, electric guitar pedal made by Electro Harmonics. Uh, very popular amongst guitar players. It is a fuzz pedal. And as uh, my true fans know, on the show which you are watching right now called Trombone Plus, we like to experiment and get guitar pedals to work with trombone. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Hopefully it will. It is a fuzz pedal, and we're going to try to make... Uh, trombone and tuba a little bit fuzzier today. <laughs> well, look at that thing. What's that right there? We're going to get a little tuba in the action. I don't know, maybe a little other stuff too, but trombone and tuba, I'll make separate videos. I got a little inspiration from bass. Bass fuzz is a thing, hence the tuba. I'm bringing in the tuba to make hopefully a bass fuzz. And I recently got a whammy pedal for the trombone, which is a pitch shifter. You can go up an octave, down an octave. Heck, you can go down two or three octaves with this whammy pedal so I'm gonna basically try to create a nice bass octave fuzz there's been a couple of lame attempts at electric trombone in the past uh, I may have tried it a few times but on the internet there's a couple of them out there doesn't sound good but I'll give going up in the higher trombone register I'll give it a try we'll see if it works I'm not super confident that it will but I'm hoping the lower bass fuzz thing is gonna work out that's my bass that's my bass finger. So, wish me luck, everybody, and enjoy the video. <laughs> okay, I got the guitar pedal set up down here. Um, we're going to give it a try with trombone first, and we'll see how it goes. All right, let's try it out. kind of scared to press the button. Alright, so that's kind of maxed out with where I'm at right now as far as like volume without getting uh, feedback, which is that sound you heard. I don't want to put headphones on while I do the electric trombone. That's another challenge. It's really limiting when you start introducing headphones because if you if I ever do play live with this sort of a setup, it's not going to work because you get all the PAs, you got monitors and all that stuff so don't worry we'll get very very extreme so i'm gonna go an octave down now fingers crossed <laughs> Yeah, that's. Uh, I think that might be the sound I'm, I'm going for. I'll have to listen back. Uh, and, well, I'll listen back on a loop. Let's uh, mess around with some of the settings. Let, you know what? I'm going to go even a little bit lighter on the distortion. Because uh, I have some other effects here, too. 
I have a bass clone, which is kind of like a chorus effect, so I might give that a try. I might give the compressor a try as well. That sounds... It's cool. And uh, let's experiment. it's really loud. Let me try to do a solo over it. Getting a nice white noise out of that pedal, but that's always going to happen when you get distortion and you get fuzz going on. That's a fuzzy sound in trombone. All right. Uh, cool. Uh, let me try to make... Let me, uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to throw in a couple of more effects I have. Some uh, reverb from the Hall of Fame 2 reverb pedal, uh, some delay from the Canyon, electro harmonics as well, uh, electro harmonics uh, bass clone, kind of like a chorus, and I got a TC electronic compressor here. So let's try to make a really cool sound with that. <laughs> talking all right now we're getting some cool sounds all right that sounds pretty cool i like this light bit of distortion i think a problem that wow my effects are still on oh well i'll edit it out because i'm doing multi-track right now which i haven't done in a really long time and i like it because i don't have to worry about the other effects anyway i like the light bit of distortion i think a problem a lot of uh, brass instrumentalists deal with is they try to go too far on the distortion levels and the problem with that is see right now let me turn it in. you hear how you can hear the uh, <laughs> my neighbors are going to think I'm a satanic worshipper uh, <laughs> You can hear yourself breathing. With distortion pedals, it's really obvious. I don't know why fuzz pedal is different, but um, maybe it's because I have the distortion or the fuzziness level on low, uh, but it seems to be helping a lot. Can't hear yourself breathing. Another problem when you have a lot of distortion is you can really hear the tongue and it's not a pleasant sound believe it or not and that seems to be less of a problem with this so i'm actually really happy with, uh with uh with how this is going so far let me uh let me mess with it a little bit and then i'll do a loop de loop
<laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of pedals. That was trombone plus a lot of pedals. I think I've proven that this is going to work. All right, uh, just for the video, because I like long form. I don't like short form videos. Freaking... There was a little period of time where long form videos were cool and now it's back to like I don't like TikTok, okay, and all the Instagram stories and stuff. You can't make music in five seconds, all right? It's just not ever gonna happen. But the trends are like under a minute for music, and I'm just I just you know, nobody watches my videos and that's fine with me, you know, because I'm just going to make what I want to make and it's going to be long if I want it long and if I want it short, I'll do that from time to time. Anyways, that's my spiel on uh, 2022 for music. <laughs>
Hell yeah. <laughs> this is uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time in the Bone Zone. Let's try tuba, shall we? Ah!